The Detroit Lions head to the Big Easy to take on former Detroit Lion Jamal Williams and the New Orleans Saints in trying to get back into the win column. Now, I don't believe in superstition nor jinxes, but if you do, I understand the Detroit Lions have not lost two in a row since we were 1-6, and six, which was over one year ago. So they have a lot riding on this. I like little stats like that, that to me, they, they're a big deal. So the Lions have to avoid losing two in a row for the first time in a year and get back into the win column with a chance to go to 9-3 and three and keep pressure on the Philadelphia Eagles and also the San Francisco 49ers for that second seed as well. Philly with the first seed and San Francisco with the second seed. Now I realize that the first seed it is almost out of reach at this point. If we don't get a some help from San Francisco and Dallas th this week and next, then we probably have no shot at the number one seed. But the number two seed is not as good because you don't get home field advantage all the way to the Super Bowl. You don't get um, a bye week, which a lot of you don't want the Lions to have a bye week. But the second seed is kind of cool because – you get home field advantage until you have to play number one. If number one is upset, then you are the team that would get home field advantage throughout the playoffs. So love the NFL playoffs, man. A lot of things can happen then. But let's look at the matchup predictor for tomorrow's game between the Saints and Lions. I'm actually very surprised that the Detroit Lions don't have a bigger percentage. That's probably due to last week's loss to the Green Bay Packers. 52.2% chance to win this game to 434 for the New Orleans Saints. Take a look at the passing leaders. Jared Goff, 275 for 405 with 3,075 yards, eight touchdowns, and eight interceptions. Seems like he just fell off a cliff after that streak ended. Derek Carr, 244 out of 372, 2,000. 535 yards with 10 touchdowns and five interceptions. David Montgomery, 133 carries for 648 yards and nine touchdowns. If Monty wouldn't have missed those games, I think he missed three, he really would be breathing down Jamal Williams' neck for the new record for, uh, over taking over Jamal's record of 17 TDs, which he took over for Barry Sanders, the 16 before that. Alva Kamara, 119 carries for... Uh, 457 yards and two touchdowns. I want to say he was suspended for a couple games this season, if I'm not mistaken. Amon Ra St. Brown, 82 receptions, 93, 993 yards with five touchdowns. Actually had his streak broken by like, I want to say it was eight, not eight yards of consecutive games getting to 100. All he needed was like one more catch. He would have got there last week. Chris Olave. As of this moment, right now, there's no word on if he's out or not. At least I don't think. We'll look at the, I think that comes out at four, if I'm not mistaken. 63 receptions, 777 yards, and three touchdowns. If we look at the injury report, okay, let me bring in Tim Twentyman. This is from yesterday. And we've got Hendon Hooker. He's going to be out. Alex Anzalone is out. I know that for sure. So I don't know if. It's been updated yet, but Chris Olave may or may not play uh, in tomorrow's game. So I'll, I'll pin the comment or if somebody knows that you can just uh, leave it in the comment section and I'll pin your comment. If we look at the Detroit Lions, if we look at uh, the last, where we go, let's go down here. Okay. The last five opponents, the New Orleans Saints are coming off of a two game losing streak going two and three. Last time they won was almost a month ago. Um, in Chicago, November 5th, a 24 to 17 win. So they're two and three in their last five. And the Detroit Lions are coming off that loss to the Green Bay Packers are three and two in their last five. So let me see. It was something else I wanted to bring in as well as we look at the defensive ranks and stats for these guys here. So let me go back here and bring it in this way. If we look at the offensive and defenses comparison for the, the two teams, Detroit Lions ranked seventh in points per game with 26.7. New Orleans 18th. Total offense, we are second to the New Orleans Saints 12th. Rushing offense, six to, to 19 for the New Orleans Saints. So right now, we're better in every category on offense statistically. Passing offense, third to their 11th. Third down offense, 11 to 21. Red zone efficiency, 14 to 29. Giveaways, 20 to 12. So that they give the ball 
let away less than us. Jared Goff is responsible for eight of those turnovers, interceptions, and then some fumbles lost as well. That's kind of that's not a good listen. I love Jared Goff. I really do, but that's not a good stat that you want to have. You already have eight interceptions. So that's set out of the 17 giveaways, you're responsible for eight throwing the ball. And then if you add at least another two to three fumbles lost, that is over 10 giveaways from Jared Goff. And if that is one knock on Jared Goff, it is his turnovers, especially fumbling the football. I'm not going to put all those interceptions on him, but definitely some of them were his fault. If we look at the defense, let's see here, points per game. The Detroit Lions could be, let me see if we're inferior in, we were superior in every offense, offensive category except giveaways, which is uh, 20 to 12 or 20 to 14. I'm sorry, 17 to 14 for them. So let's see how we rank defensively. Going to takeaways. Let me back out of that so you guys can see it a little better. Okay, points per game, 24th to 8. So they beat us there. Total defense, 10 to 12. We beat them. Rushing defense, 5 for 23. We beat them. Passing defense, 20 to 7. They're superior. Third down defense, 11 to 8. So they're superior there. Red zone efficiency, 30. Wow. We are second to last in the league when it comes to stopping people in the red zone. That's terrible. To their 19. Takeaways, 26 to 4 for the Detroit Lions. So our defense is relatively even when it comes to uh, statistical the st- statistical category. So where are we at? I'm going to be real with you. I'm kind of discouraged by the last few showings by the Detroit Lions. The only real game that they should have been really kind of at risk of losing, in my opinion, was the Chargers game. We pulled that off. The offense has to carry us. Now, I know a lot of people are like, how, how can you fire Aaron Glenn? How can we blame Aaron Glenn for what's happening? And I'm going to tell you, to me, it's very obvious. If you look at the defense right now in points per game, we rank 24th, right? But if you look at the defense, who won us the Chargers game? The offense. The Chicago Bears game, who, who won that game? Kind of the offense. Because Jared Goff did turn the ball over, but the offense had to bring us back. When the defense need to make stops, they really can't. And if you go to Green Bay, again, did the defense do anything? You're talking about 38 points, 26 points, and then 29 points. All right? So we're talking about, where are we at? Almost 100 points. Almost 100 points. 28. And then, yeah, I'm not going to do the math right now. Because I'm on video, so I'll freeze up. But you're you're talking at least 75 points. At least 75 points in three games. That's not a good defense, in my opinion. So, on paper, the offense is superior to the Saints offense, and the defense is about even when it comes to the Lions versus the Saints. So, it's hard for me to do predictions because we, we struggled against the Bears. We just happened to win. We struggled mightily against the Packers, and we lost. So, which are two teams on paper that we should have beat. In my opinion, the Saints are a team on paper we should beat. So is it, it's hard for me to do a prediction. So what I'll say is this. I'm not going to pick a winner for this game. I'm just going to simply say the Detroit Lions should win this game. They should be the team that they're superior to in record and offense. You have a, what, 5-6 and six team versus an 8-3 and three team. We talk about the Detroit Lions being a good team. Good teams beat teams that are worse than them. Any given Sunday? Absolutely. But – This is what separates the good teams from the average team. And the Detroit Lions are going to show tomorrow if they're an average team. They should beat this team on paper. And the Detroit Lions play, it seems like they play better on the road. It really does. Unless you're Baltimore, you go to Baltimore, then you don't show up at all. So should the Detroit Lions win this game? Yes. Will they win it? They better. They better. The Chicago Bears gifted us a favor, beating the Minnesota Vikings, keeping keeping those guys at bay. If the Detroit Lions win the next three games and the Minnesota Vikings and Green Bay Packers lose just one, the Detroit Lions could win the division at home, their second to to last home game, at Ford Field against the Denver Broncos, which is, in my opinion, why the game was flexed. The NFL saw the potential there of not only us potentially winning the division, but the Denver Broncos also going on that run and making a playoff push as well, which is three weeks left after that. So 
Should the Detroit Lions win this game? Yes. I'm not as confident as I was against the Carolina Panthers. I tell you that because if the Detroit Lions, in my opinion, go three and three down the last six games, that is a failure. 11 and six after starting eight and two is a failure. And you don't want to go into the playoffs 50%. And you definitely don't want to go into a loss. So we're going to see. I know I'm getting ahead of myself, but I, I, I don't. I haven't given up on the team, but this team is hard. It's hard to peg because of the last three outings. We did not play our best football in the month of November. I mean, we I know we played. Here's what I'll say. We played three games in 11 days. Now the Detroit Lions, in the same amount of time that they played those 11 games, they have now been off. So we'll see if they can come out and, and click on all cylinders. We did it after the bye week, and I think if, if that Chargers games happen the middle game, like of, of our stretch, we don't we don't win that game. The only reason we were able to go toe to toe with the Chargers the way our defense was was because we were coming off a a, a a bye week, right? So should the Detroit Lions win this game? They absolutely should. Will they? I don't know. They they must win this game. Get back in the win column. Get back to nine, or get to nine and three. Put some pressure on San Francisco for that number two seed because looks like Seattle is no competition there. So it's going to be uh, either us or San Francisco that get the first seed. I mean, the second seed. So we'll see. Let me know what you think in the comments below. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions.